a lot more rugby based now in terms of you know what we do and how we training. Um, you know, it's, it's not the easiest time for the guys who played the last game. You know, not doing an awful lot of rugby. Probably you know just a week's rugby or maybe just a fraction over. Um, but these boys obviously have been training now for uh, since then. So it's another three weeks on top of what we were doing. So um, yeah, you'd like to think that they're going to be some way down or a lot further down the road than the boys were three weeks ago. But as I've said, it's the same for both sides, isn't it? You know, everyone approaches things differently. But at the end of the day, it's a test match and it's a game that you know you'd like to win. And uh, we've been not different to Ireland and um, obviously they want to win and we want to win tomorrow as well and we want to perform well uh, in amongst that as well. I think uh, in, certainly in the 90s uh, we had a decent record, 2000s went back the other way again and you know we've done alright under Gats in you know two victories so uh, but Ireland likewise have beaten us in Cardiff as well so um, you know I think it'll be pretty probably even Stevens in terms of the amount of games we've played since Gats have started um, taking over so yeah look no matter when you play Ireland no matter where you play them it's going to be tough they're a very good very skillful side very uncompromising side very tough you know and play the game very intelligently so um, you know we know what to expect tomorrow it's going to be very tough a um, couple of key players coming back for them as well who haven't played so far so um, and a world class player so um, yeah I think again you know no matter where you play in test football certainly away from home it's very tough to achieve a victory and uh, something we'll try and do tomorrow it's never easy in, in terms of something like this, really, because you only get two two chances, really, um, and it's something that the players, are, you know, we're very alien to. Um, most of them would obviously get a couple of pre-season games, you know, of the sort of eight to ten weeks training, and then generally get into the season as it as it takes along. So, um, but you know, you've got to be up and running by certainly. You've got to be flying by, you know, probably tomorrow for some of them, uh, but certainly by uh, you know Italy next week and certainly in two or three weeks against Uruguay. So, um, you know, there's. there's You've got to be totally, you know, fully focused by that point. So um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit strange, I'm sure, for them guys and playing a test match as their first game of the season. But again, it's, it's just one of them things. The same for everyone, and uh, you've got to adapt to it. And um, you know, hopefully, you know, put in your best performance tomorrow. You're going to make a massive step up, you know. But it's something that a lot of these boys would be used to. You know, a lot of these guys played against Ireland in March. Uh, played against them over a long period, you know, in, in Six Nations and World Cup games. So, um, you know, I wouldn't have thought that's an issue for us. We know we have to step up. We know have to, we have to be way better than what we was three weeks ago. And you know, I'd like to think we're going to be tomorrow. It's going to be uh, Paul Cummins last home game for Ireland tomorrow. Yeah. You're going to be glad to see the back. <laughs> uh, yes, I know. I think that you know, selfish. Yes, because he's a you know he's an incredible rugby player. And he he's been huge for the game and certainly in Ireland. But you know, in the British and Irish Isles, Northern Hemisphere and World Rugby, he's a Incredible rugby player, really. I've been lucky enough just to be involved with him on uh, not actually with Paul, but watching him work and with the, you know the kickers on the Lions for the last two tours. And um, incredible person, mate. You know, absolutely unbelievable rugby player. Knows the game inside out. Does his homework, you know, incredibly um, at a high level, and uh, seems to know the opposition inside out as well. So I'm sure it's going to be pretty emotional tomorrow for him and maybe some of the most of the fans. But um, again, you know, from our perspective, we show respect. He's a fantastic rugby player, but you know, we'd like to spoil his party tomorrow if we could.